Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on the newest set, the Hit The Sims 3 Snore, and I feel like they've been really shelling these out lately and it's kind of hard to keep up. But anyway, this time it's on the Country Living set. Um, quick little description about this one. It's basically all based around country living, you know, family stuff, all that um, interesting thingy-mabobs. And they have a lot of different items in here that kind of help transform your homes into more of like a country themed sort of thing. Uh, however, this set does actually come with a brand new premium content item, which I thought was kind of cute. And it's a chicken coop and my notes say chicken poop. Whoopsie. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and talk about prices since that is the um, biggest thing I think when it comes to these sets. First and foremost, the regular price for this is 1500 sim points or 15 US dollars, which kind of narrows it down to uh, 60 cents per an item. However, it is on sale until I think April 18th for $12.50 or 1,250 uh, sim points, which breaks it down breaking it down uh, to uh, 50 cents a piece, which is kind of, kind of, you know, around the normal ordinary um, price range. And there is 25 items total, which of course includes that one premium content item. Um, and that chicken coop alone is actually going to retail for 600 sim points or six US dollars. So now that I've, you know, oogled and boogled and moggled your mind with numbers, let's go ahead and uh, jump into create a sim. So we are going to go ahead and filter through the female stuff first. Now there's not a lot, so I think we're going to get through this quite quick. Um, first and foremost is this top right here. This is actually available for young adults, adults, and obviously Elda. So that's pretty much one of the first things you get. I actually do really like this top. The very last item that you get, yes, the very last item uh, that you get for your young adults, adults, and elders, of course females, is this long kind of country summery kind of dress. It's very classic to the country theme. However, I would love to see more kind of flattering dresses, maybe for, you know, the young adults and adults and things like that. The more youngest sims. Personally, I feel like this looks best on an elder. Um, I've already tried it on the other types and I, I really do not like it. For your little ladies, you get this whole entire outfit here minus the sapatos or shoes, whatever you want to call them. I really do like this outfit because it's strange. Now I am a sucker for scarves um, and cardigans and things like that. So I really love the top. I love the top a lot. The pants are a little strange. You and I both know that. However, you know what? It works. It works. So I definitely like this little ensemble. For the last and final outfit, you also get a pair of overalls. Now, I really, really think these are absolutely freaking adorable. Back in my younger year, I was definitely an overall kind of girl. I don't know if it was the 90s sort of thing or what, but they were in and I was definitely wearing them. So I love overalls. Um, you know, these are cute. I like it. And uh, I'm having a really hard time deciphering what kind of animal this is. You know, first I thought maybe a, a hamster, then a cat, quite possibly even a polar bear. It has, no, polar bear, no, panda bear. And it also has a little tail in the back. So if you have any ideas, let me know because it's, it's kind of bugging me. But yeah, I really do like this. This is quite cute. So moving along into the dude section, you get this interesting Mr. Rogers sort of thing going on. Uh, I'm seeing so many of the cardigans, the shirt underneath, that this this doesn't phase me as unique. Um, this little awkward hand creeping out of the pocket thing doesn't do it for me. I know it's a glove relax. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this. However, it does come in three flavors for your young adults, your adults, and of course, your elders. For the last outfit, surprise, surprise, you also get yourself a very nice pair of denim overalls. Um, yeah, I know it's a country theme. What else are you, you know, supposed to expect? However, I would have loved to seen more shoes. Um, you know, maybe some, some hats, some straw hats, cowboy hats, more crap that pertains to, you know, country. I just feel like this is kind of eh, redundant. For your little men, uh, you get a kind of, cute outfit like I, I like it I don't really know how to describe it it's a definitely country suspenders button-up shirt reminds me of like the early 
or maybe not early, maybe early 1800s, late 1800s. I don't know. I'm thinking little prairie on a farm or is it little farm on a prairie. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, you got me. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this outfit is the fact that it's high water central and none of the shoes, and I mean none of the shoes, um, mesh well with this at all. So he, he, the poor kid is stuck with these little ugly sneakers. So yeah, eh, it's all right. Not too, not too shabby, but do wish the pants were a little bit longer. And this is the last outfit for for your little middle-aged men. Um, yeah, just kind of, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know. Kind of reminds me of a romper a little bit. Again, I think my biggest pet peeve is these short pants. Like, why? I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why they gotta look so short and they're not even even. But uh, yeah, I don't really like this. I don't honestly like any of the men's or little um, <clears throat> boys clothing. The only thing I like so far is the uh, first shirt that I showed you guys and all of the girls clothing. So. so last but not least for your little boy toddlers, you get another set of, you guessed it, overalls. Now if you're not totally sick of them already, um, this one might make you feel a little bit better because actually it is cute. Now I wish they would have this available for the uh, female toddlers. I'm not 100% sure if it is. I don't think it is though. But nevertheless, it's absolutely freaking adorable. And these little custom content ring boots totally save the day and it kind of makes it all like work together. So it's actually a pretty damn cute outfit. So I think that's about it for uh, Create a Sim. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the premium content and the uh, home decor items and all the crap that you get with this set. Alrighty, so here we are, and if you haven't guessed it, I am filming an Appapalooza Plains. Why? Because this set meshes just perfectly right on in, and um, yeah, I couldn't think of any other place to film. So I did not create this house, by the way. It's just kind of like a model home, so I can, you know, go ahead and show you guys the objects. So this is one of the first little items that you get. Um, it's obviously a picnic bench. Now, I really do like this because it's quite bulky, and I don't know, I feel like it has a little more character than your traditional um, picnic bench and you can actually use this inside of your home you know as a dining set or whatever and um, it's it's fairly inexpensive I think um, yeah anyway so over here you have another decor item and it is a useless uh, little like what you call her um, milk jug kind of thing so that's that's what that looks like Moving on along to the inside of the house, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the brand new table and dining uh, room chairs. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It's very square, very tiny and petite. I don't know if I meant to make the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, table here green, but whatever. Um, so that's pretty much what it looks like, and there's a little uh, decals like roses, and unfortunately, I think it's pretty static, so you can't get rid of those roses, which kinda sucks, otherwise, if they had maybe like a cleaner option, um, they'd be really, really cute chairs. I also like the little uh, pillow accent. For your walls to add a more, you know, a little oomph in their lives, you have this little planter looking decor set that is not functional. Uh, in the kitchen, you get uh, some brand new lights, if you guys can see them. Now this set is supposed to be featured around DIY. Now when I think of DIY, I think of do-it-yourself. Hopefully that's what they mean. So a lot of these things are kind of like, supposed to look like they're handcrafted, kind of, I guess. Um, on the wall over here, you have a little prefix nook thingy. Not nook, I don't even know, but it's like, it's like a prefix. Um, I can't even say prefix right. You know what I'm trying to say. It's a wall thing. Yeah, that's what it is. It has some um, little decor items like that. And everything has roses. It's very, very feminine. Over here is Grandma's pantry with all of her goodness, like her uh, blueberries, strawberries, grapes, peaches, whatever she's got going on here. Just a whole bunch of random stuff. Of course, this isn't functional and it's just, you know, for a show, I suppose. So as if you didn't have enough stuff for your walls already, you're going to get one last final piece. And um, I'm definitely not complaining because this is actually one of my favorite decor items. I really like that it ties in with the rest of the furniture. Um, so you have like a real official strong set there going on and it's not all scatterbrained and crap. Um, I like the little details like the hearts and the iron and just the little, little stuff. It really, it really makes it quite nice. So in the bathroom here, uh, cause I'm too lazy to put down the walls. I'm just going to show you the very last and final item. 
um, when it comes to the home decor stuff. It is a sink. Now, I really like this one because it can be anything you want it to be. It's sort of like a, a chameleon because you can make it country, you can make it modern, and you can make it whatever the hell you want because you can't. Now that we got all that boring crap out of the way, I definitely wanted to save the best for last. So, of course, like I've been blabbing about, with this set you get one a premium content item, and yes, it is a chicken coop, which is quite unique. I definitely did not see this coming. Anyway, I haven't really had a chance to play with it or anything, so this is going to be me experiencing this for the first time with you guys. So hopefully we don't have any glitches or any problems or any things like that. So we're gonna go have um, Grandma Ruth uh, Brummer here. Go ahead and do the honors. Uh, oh my gosh, so this is like the little animations and they are absolutely freaking adorable. <laughs> Look at them little bobbing all over the place. All right, so the first things first, these are the little uh, options that you get. You can play with chicks, harvest eggs, um, feed chickens, argue with Charles Evil Chicken, and ask how many chickens does it take to screw in a light bulb? Interesting. Um, as you can see, these ones are kind of blurred out because we don't have any chicks yet, and um, we, can har we can't harvest the eggs yet because they will be ready in 21 hours. So. How about we go ahead and we feed those little little chickens? Because um, I want to see what this looks like. So if, you know, Ruth over here would just speed it up ever so kindly, we could definitely uh, get this going. Alrighty. Let's see. Hmm. It actually kind of fills up the little thing, and then you can see the little chickens eating. Oh, <laughs> That's actually really, really, really cute. So we're going to argue with... Uh, with Charles the evil chicken. Where is Charles? <gasps> Ooh! Oh my gosh! Charles, he's so angry. He's like a demonic chicken. It says, it is hard to understand Charles the evil chicken, but Ruth thinks she has said that you must have been dropped as an egg. Rude, Ruth! <laughs> um, fight with Charles the evil chicken or ask... Which is better, one horseshoe sized chicken or a hundred chicken sized horses? This is weird. Oh, what are you doing? I don't need you. Anyway, that was the university mascot. So let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, look, they come out, you guys. <gasps> Yay. That is so freaking cute. They actually come out. I didn't expect that. Uh, did anything happen with that? Um, I don't think so. Let's see. Let's go ahead and fight with Charles the Evil Chicken. <laughs> this poor little rooster is probably so upset with us. Ugh, he can't even handle it anymore. Oh my gosh. Are we really fighting with the, we're fighting with the rooster? That is too freaking funny. It looks like she totally won that fight. Um, interesting. So basically you can fight and joke and argue with chickens and you can also harvest eggs play with chicks which is probably going to be extremely fun and so it looks like Ruth is kind of exhausted from you know chicken fighting that she's gonna go ahead and lay down for a nap however something I did notice is that our eggs will be ready in three hours and I am totally excited to see uh, what we can do with that so I'm gonna resume in three hours and we're gonna harvest some eggs alrighty so it's been about three hours or so and it looks like our eggs are ready so of of course, we're gonna have Ruth go ahead and uh, do the honors and see what that interaction or animation, whatever, looks like. Looks like Dad is actually playing with his son, doing some water balloon fighting, but they are definitely not the stars of the show, so let's see. Looks like she goes back to the back and snatches an egg, and it says, Ruth picked up five eggs, which include a rare and exotic egg. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we can uh, do with the eggs. So let's go ahead and see. Um, we're going to turn inventory and it looks like, ooh, this one's a nice one. It's like, wow, it's like a, I don't know what it's like. It looks like a gem almost, interesting. And this one's actually worth 1,500 simoleons. So um, if I pick up, all right, so you can pick them up or you can sell them. I'm not exactly sure when the uh, chicks come and all that mess, so I'll definitely have to watch out for that, but at least I got to show you guys most of the interaction. So my overall opinion of this set definitely has to be the items are kind of optional. I don't really feel like the clothing is that spectacular. I don't feel like the items are that 
you know, amazing to where you have to have to have them. In my personal opinion, um, the only thing I would definitely grab out of the set is the chicken coop because everything else I can pretty much live without. But like always, I, uh, I buy these items for review purposes, so I can waste my money, but you guys don't have to. But of course, base your decision off of what you want to do. Um, just because I don't like something doesn't mean you won't. But I will definitely have to say um, the clothing and the the home decor they're all things that you know they're nothing nothing too crazy unique special or whatever but the chicken coop is definitely an item i would pay uh the six dollars for just because i think it's absolutely adorable and um it's definitely not something that you already have in your game so i hope you guys enjoyed this review don't forget to uh comment rate and subscribe and i will see you all in my very next video bye